before the USC elections for the local and central council positions, aspiring candidates were given the chance to face each other and the Thomasian community in this year's Tagisan, the Halalan 2016 meeting the Avance at the USD grandstand last April 19. Questions on pressing issues were thrown at the 17 candidates. Questions from the audience through social media were also entertained during the open forum. Chief among the issues tackled during the debate was apathy among the student body during the term of the incumbent officers of the council. Candidates were asked to weigh in on their plans on how to solve the issue, especially the aspiring presidents. The other aspirants were also obliged to address issues that pertain to their desired positions. The aspiring PROs were asked to sound off on student awareness and on university-wide issues, including those relating to the LGBTQ community. And yes, we should be uplifting its Christian values. But then again, we live in a society where we should be treating each other equally. So if it is deemed necessary na kailangan nating i-recognize yung, yung gender equality kahit bakla, lalaki, babae, or, or kung ano man yung gender niya, kailangan nating respetuhin yun. After all, salus populi es supremalex. The welfare of the people should always be the supreme law. It's a one-week campaign too kasi siya. Uh, showcasing each the nation's identity with pride. Doon po sa platform ko, ina-address po yung pagkakaroon ng um, yung LDT niya po. Hindi po kasi doon po doon sa platform na yun is makikita yung, uh, yung identity mo kung bading ka man or tomboy ka man. Doon po, ina-apply pa po yung ano nila, um, na-apply pa po yung personality nila na wala pong masama sa pagiging, ano po, uh, pagiging discriminate po sa mga ibang tao. The candidates for auditor were also questioned how they would address financial report accessibility and transparency awareness. Audit reports at the moment are just numbers, guys. We need somebody to clear the way, to explain where the money was spent and how how we entrusted the money with our, to our student council, where they used it. And that's why I give you Edge Transparency Fair. I want to promote transparency, an exhibit of our financial reports, with an open dialogue, an open forum, and seminars to teach each and every single student to tell you the story of how your money was spent. It's through my project, which is Financial Audit and Transparency Week. Dito nyo may kita ko pa paano ginagastos ng Central Student Council at ng inyong mga local student council ang perang inaambag nyo sa konseho. Ang pinakauna, ang pinakauna dapat talaga gawin is to touch the students. Kailangan nila malama kung ano ba talagang nangyayari sa loob at labas ng council. Kasi nga doon nga papasok yung awareness, involvement, and empowerment. Hindi lang po talagang sa pagpapakita. And ensure po namin na bawat information po ang doon sa financial statements ay kompleto po at wala pong kulang po. Aspirants for the position of treasurer were asked to give their stand on yearly tuition fee increases and the ever-pressing issue of financial reports for the council's programs. Secretarial aspirants, meanwhile, were asked to identify deficiencies of the past administration.
as what my co-candidate said, it's, there's, para, para there's always room for improvement. Kaya nga po napapahayag tayo ng general plan of action as a secretary that says that it's supposed to be a goal-oriented leadership development. Dahil bawat taon, dapat nagde-develop ang, nagde ang leadership ng bawat, is, ng bawat student leader. Because that's what we're meant to be. We're meant to develop together with the students, together with the growth of our university. So to answer that question, it's simple. Hindi lang po talaga na masyado natatap yung mga estudyante. And to properly, properly address that is to inject awareness. Uh, because it's always a two-way two process. A mga public relations officer po ay sa pating sabihin that communication is always a two-way process. So ibig sabihin po nun na if we reach out to you, the students must also reach out. And that starts with knowing the role of both parties. The role of a student council, their core, and the role of the students as members of the Tamashan community. The candidates for vice president were asked if they would call out presidents should they prove to be ineffective. Ako po, first, ipo-point out ko sa kanya yung mga pagkakamali niya. Pero if constantly po na ginagawa niya yung pagkakamali niya, i-raise ko po sa buong executive board uh, yung possibility na for impeachment. Kasi the Thumashians deserve a president na nandyan lagi for them and gagawin yung duty nila and mag-exceed sa duties nila. Yes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call him out solely for the fact because I know that they can redeem themselves in the everyday that happens. I will not support him with the mistakes, but I will encourage him to do more and to do better than he did yesterday because mistakes are there to improve us and to make us a better person. They're not there to degrade us in any way, but they're there to teach us a lesson. Presidential candidates were also asked how they would plan to solve the inefficiency of the CSC in addition to identifying the biggest mistakes of the past administration. First in information, Femashans taking action. This is Trich Cabias for Thomasine News.